Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. Come on over, we're partying. Lady Terminator is a typical Terminator ripoff. So let's just get on with it. Starting, of course, with a randy Indonesian queen. Is there any man who can satisfy me? Who kills her lovers when the magic eel that lives inside of her bites off their penis. <laughs> But one man has the foresight to take out the eel and turn it into a knife. I'm sure we all remember these scenes from the Schwarzenegger film. You have tricked me! In 100 years I'll have my revenge on your great-granddaughter! OK, as I pointed out in our review of The Brainiac, revenge on descendants isn't revenge. Do you understand? Nevertheless, we now jump ahead to the modern day to meet this lady. I'm not a lady, I'm an anthropologist. Who is researching the South Sea Queen. What is in this book may bring you to a fate worse than anything you could imagine. Still gives her the book. You read too much, bloody woman. Tanya goes diving to find the Queen's lost city. But while she's underwater, <laughs> shit gets weird. Now, I'm not saying this is good. Hey, you serve beer here or just milk? But at least it's not just copying Terminator. I appreciate the originality. Well, they had to steal something to justify the title, and that scene they were obviously going to use. Doesn't mean the rest of it will be shot for shot, line for... Come with me if you want to let OK, yeah, now it's Terminator. <laughs> Let's go! This way! With policeman Max protecting Erica, the aforementioned granddaughter, as Queen Tanya hunts her down. But the dystopian future of the original is replaced by Indonesian mysticism. Erica! And this has more men dying in unpleasant circumstances. It says here all three of these guys died with their cocks bitten off. It's possible the Queen needs this particular form of sustenance. Could be a small animal. Or possibly she just has a grudge against men. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Ouch. I'm not sure if I'm more perplexed by the fact that she took the time to kick him in the crotch when he's clearly dead, or by the waste of bullets. Just sign. Speaking of which, during the obligatory police station shoot-up... Yeah, definitely doesn't like men. I can't help noticing she's not carrying any ammo. And although there are some considerate enough to die without being shot, <laughs> it's still 10 minutes of solid gunfire before... <clears throat> well, that's just drawing attention to it. I'm sorry, I don't think I can believe that. Max. By now, it seems like we're just checking off scenes from Terminator. Why? She's not a robot. Maybe she is. What? Her eyeball just needed a rinse? How does that work? How the hell should I know? OK, this is bad in pretty much every way, but three things I'd like to mention. Firstly, the only character I liked was Tanya. I'm an anthropologist, huh? When she went all Sea Queen, I lost interest. Please? I'll be good, promise. Secondly, in Terminator, Sarah Connor's death would spell the end of mankind. Erica isn't important in the same way, which makes the vast number of people dying in the crossfire... ...including every friend Max has... Jack! ...quite hard to take. I can't believe this shit. Finally, Queen Tanya gets shot. Even more when Max's redneck friends show up. Bringing along a tank. Yeah! Fuck you! 
and missile launching helicopter. All right. Leading to another key Terminator reference. What the hell? None of this works, and yet, at the end. Die, motherfucker! It hasn't worked throughout the movie. What the hell made you think it would work now? That should be enough to kill anybody. <gasps> oh yeah, and suddenly she can fire lasers out of her eyes. Would have come in handy earlier when you run out of bullets. What's going on? At the start, when it was sex, death, and Indonesian magic. I will go to the bottom of the sea and join forces with the powers of evil. I sort of went along with it. Yeah, let's go to the pub or work. And no play. But when it starts trying to be Terminator, a good film, it loses it. Yeah, eat it, you bitch! Just play to your strengths. <laughs> if you enjoyed that, why not subscribe for a new bad movie review every week? And let us know what other films need an Indonesian makeover, and how would that go? Let us know in the comments below. I'm out of here! Ugh! <gasps>